really can't live if you have messes all over the place. This is a basket. Wow. Okay, real life. There's crackers. There's crackers in here. The craptastic metal blinds that would fold over and they bend and as soon as they're bent, they're ruined forever and our kids already bent them. Really tiny freezer, but we have the vodka, so. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We're the Farnsworths, John, Kristen, Aaron, Ethan, Chloe, and Cinder, and we've decided to take a not-so-ordinary path. We are currently exploring the East Coast while John takes on his first travel nurse assignment, and we're so glad you're here. Come along, we're showing off our digs today. Man, I scoured the internet. I looked up everything I could possibly look up about organizing an RV. So I hope that this helps you. I did borrow some ideas that I found and I have some of my own. So I hope you enjoy my tips on how to organize your RV for living in it. We have been planning our grand tour for quite some time. We actually filmed it um, on the 4th of July when we were staying at Indian Point in Branson, Missouri. And we just didn't feel like we could authentically share it with you at that time because we were so fresh to living in our RV. We'd only been in it for two weeks at that point. So we had waited, 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 and now here we are, we're almost three months in. So we wanted to show you what a real, authentic, lived in RV with kids looks like and how we function. Come on in. Okay, so we turned the AC off just for you, so I hope you enjoy, because it's so hot outside. This is our living space. Um, this is our couch, it folds out, and underneath, I'm not gonna fold it out right now, but underneath it stores Cinder's blanket. It also has extra sheets and blankets for this bed in case we ever have guests with us. Over here, we have our lovely dining room table. I'm just gonna take the table off. So the table comes off and uh, you can actually make it into a bed if you want. I'm just gonna move it over to the side. We probably will never use this as a bed, actually. Under here, we have our office box, which includes a printer and some random office stuff. Which we've actually used already. Yeah, under this is actually a bike box, and it has spare parts and tools for our bikes. This one is um, our pool and water box. Inside this one are hiking packs over here, and then this is just an extra backpack. We have hammocks and helmets. This is my happy place. This is the kitchen. I, some people are worried about having a small kitchen. I actually really love it because it's very easy to clean. We have everything that we need and nothing that we don't, which is awesome. Up here in this cabinet, we have our plastic containers, which we used to have a ton of Tupperware. We only have a few pieces now and tea and coffee. We have our, our mugs. We, this is literally all the cups that we own now. This is our gas oven, which I actually really love because it goes off of propane. So even if we're boondocking, we can still cook, which is awesome. Our skillet that we absolutely love, we cook on it every single day. Almost every meal we make, we use this thing. So it's, it's a grip, griddle, not a skillet. And inside here, we have this perfectly sized pizza stone that we're gonna put a link to because this was a tip that we got early on, and basically what it does is it um, redistributes the heat evenly because there's only one little heating element on the bottom, and if you just try to cook, you're gonna get that hot spot in the very center. Much more space than I originally thought we were gonna have. We have our pots and pans, our kettle down here. This is all of our cleaning products, which we completely minimized by using all Norwex products. <laughs> I don't sell it, I just love it. Okay. okay, and what did your hubs do here? This is my lovely spice rack from Ikea. This drawer is full of utensils. Look how long it is. It's a super long drawer. It holds a lot of stuff. It's not really very organized, but whatever. And this is all of our like food saving stuff. All right, up here we have walkies and our GPS. Right in here, this is where I got real happy with the label gun. Here, chargers and data storage, GoPro, novelty. This is like extra little fireworky things and glow sticks and fun stuff, extension cords. This is our coat closet. 
Uh, we put hats and sweatshirt jackets, whatever, in here. This is our school cabinet, and this whole cabinet here is Chloe's because it's very shallow. Two different containers for Ethan and Aaron, and they contain all of their school books and supplies for school. Little key station and wallet and sunglasses. This is where I keep my Instant Pot. And that's Cinder's storage. This is our ginormous refrigerator. When we cleaned out the refrigerator in the house, I was like really nervous and everything fit in here perfectly with room to spare for grocery shopping. This is my pantry. It's very deep in here and everything I tried to... to is of course labeled. It's labeled. This is the second bathroom. Also, so the, we, kids the kids' bathroom, bathroom, aka mud room. This is our medicine cabinet, first aid, random things. In here, the kids each have their own labeled drawer of toothbrushes and toothpaste, and we have their little step stool in here. This unsightly thing in my bathroom is a very functional trash can. John is a rock star at taking the trash out. He just opens this door and grabs the bag and takes it to the trash can on his way to work. So it's really very useful. Welcome to the bunk house. When we chose this RV, you can check out the video about why we did, but this is the big reason why we chose this rig. So when you have three kids in a tight space, it's nice for them to have their own little area and this really helps separate these all this is is a curtain rod and some some curtains and just you know the standards there these aren't even hemmed or anything they're just kind of folded up there and they work really nice to separate the space from the kids these are shower rods from ikea and the reason i bought them at ikea is because ikea is a european store and they are longer this is like the dirty laundry um just random blankets and stuff like that. There's a little toy area. These are all of our children's toys. Of course, they are labeled. This is Chloe's closet. And again, more stuff labeled. What do we have behind those little things? Uh, we have winter clothes. Winter clothes is behind there. This I'm particularly proud of. When we bought this RV, um, none of this was back here. Um, this is a huge storage space that goes back and it was just so much room. It was great, but it wasn't at the same time. This is a TV mount that we installed back here. If you wanna zoom in on it. Um, their dresser, if you will, are also back here. So this is Aaron and Ethan's dressers and some toys back there, backpacks, winter clothes again behind them. But the RV mount, or the mount that we made is homemade here. Um, this is a little TV mount back here. And then I reinforced all this real well so this would hold this television and it's on this swing arm so as the kids need to get to their dressers back here this will swing out and about and then when we're ready to store it back it literally just swings right back in here and stores in here and we've got a little safety strap up here to keep it from bouncing as we're going down the road we went to ikea again and we bought these nice tension blinds and they do hook into the bottom so when we're going they don't flat back and forth what we ultimately decided after about a few weeks on the road was that this top space just didn't work well for Aaron, who is our oldest. It's the smallest space of all of the beds. There is no window and the bottom bunk has the emergency exit, which our three-year-old was just not able to do and to use in case of an emergency. It slides underneath her bunk here. So if we want, we can raise the bunk and secure it upward to give us the space down here that we want if the kids ever need it. This is our bathroom. In <laughs> our Welcome super to... winter robes that we'll I know, never I utilize. Didn't, I know, but I didn't want to leave them. I, I, I like my robe when it's cold and it's hot right now. Okay, this is our bathroom and our shower. We did replace the shower head. John replaced the shower head. We're still gonna move it. Yeah, I don't like where it's we're at gonna right put now. it in the middle, but it, the original mount was on the side. We have all of our lovely towels here. Everyone has their own towel and their own color. They're microfiber. They dry super fast. It's an old shower rod that we had in our house, and we wedged it up here so that we could hang things, hang clothes that we want to dry, um, and they're out of the way so that they're not bothering anybody. It doesn't hit John's head in the shower. <laughs> this is how this is how tall the shower is. But it feels roomy because we got this big dome here. This is one of the features I love. We have our own bathroom. This is our bedroom. This is John's side over here. 
did a good job organizing your clothes, dear. Mm -hmm. See those two cabinets? I just want everyone to see this. One, two. Kristen gets three. Just saying. I think there was initially like a post about that of whether or not. We but... were going to share it, but I took over. This is my closet. See, I have my guitar that I've got strapped in here because priorities, you guys. Right here is our outdoor kitchen and coming up soon in my how to grocery shop for a family of five and where to put it all video. You can find it right there. You will get a full tour of that outdoor kitchen. It's kind of tiny, but it really serves its purpose well here. Hey! Check out the Dollar Tree and go nuts. <laughs> Seriously, make a list of all the things you need to organize and head to the Dollar Tree. I took measurements of all of my cabinets. I have a file on my com on my phone, actually, on Google Drive that's all the measurements of the major cabinets so that when I was going around and looking, I could actually figure out whether it was going to fit or not, especially like things like your oven. You want to make sure that you have something that's going to fit in the oven if you are putting certain dishes in there cookie sheets and that kind of thing. Utilize commands. Now I know that like every RV organizing video you've probably watched says use command strips. And yes, go hog wild with your command strips. But also know there are other brands besides command. If you go to the Dollar Tree, you can get a package of six for a dollar. Get creative. I used a basket and command hooks to hang um, some things on the insides of some of my uh, doors and that actually works really well label everything um, don't be afraid to get really nitty-gritty with your labeling because if you know where everything goes then your spouse knows where everything goes and your kids know where everything goes and cleanup is a cinch when everyone knows where everything goes <laughs> that needs to be a bumper sticker <laughs> tension rods Use tension rods, and again, you want the measurements of the, uh, the dimensions of your shelving. Walmart does sell tension rods. I found that they did not get small enough for some of the spaces that I needed, so I had to go to a hardware store to get those. You can use a giant tension rod, rod like we did in our bathroom to use to hang things on. Shoe caddies. I had John secure shoe caddies. We just bought um, really cheap ones at Walmart. They were like $4.95, I think. And then I cut them in the shapes that I needed them to be to fit on the inside of cabinet doors and all along the bottom of our bed. If you have kids, I personally feel like the best thing you can do is get them their own, their own space, their own place for things to help them feel like they have their own little safe haven and also give them responsibility. Utilize all of your vertical space. Do you have any more organization tips? Comment below. Let us know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. My kids have had a great day of homeschool, and there's a homeschool video coming up soon. But I've got to go take them and do something fun to burn off all that energy now. Uh -huh.